Richard Goff, midfielders Trevor Stephen and Ian Durant, and striker Mark Catley. And to recall, they're expensive Ukrainians, Oleg Kuznetsov and Alexei Mikhailichenko, who are away on international duty this week. And there is Mikhailichenko, who came off the bench in the Skull League Cup final last Sunday. Mother will have every right to fury style, because he scored five goals against them in three games last season, two doubles and a single. Motherwell manager Tommy McLean has again had to deal with illness and injury this week and had to give late fitness tests to strikers Dougie Arnott and Steve Kirk. Both have failed to make it. And leading Motherwell again this afternoon is skipper Chris McCart, who has fought his way back after lengthy injury. This is his ninth start of the season, and apart from some stout defending, he's managed two goals in his last three games. The referee is Bobby Tate from East Kilbride. And so Mother will get the 54th Premier League meeting between these sides underway. Rangers have won 41, Mother will 10, and only two have been drawn. In fact, in the 26 games here at Ibrook Stadium, going way back to season 75-76 in the Premier Division, there has never been a draw. Rangers have won 24 of the matches. Mother will have won twice, and that last victory coming in season 86-87, when they won by a goal to nil. So an early throw in to Rangers. Big crowd settling down here at Ibrox today. It takes the crowds uh, through the 400,000 barrier for just 10 games. So here's uh, McPherson, who's uh, playing at centre back this afternoon. He's been featuring, of course, at right back for much of the season. Kuznetsov is uh, filling that role. There he is, switching the play over, looking for McCall, but the ball drifts out of play for the throw in. John Brown in the thick of it there, it's cut out by Snedden. And Ian Ferguson making up some good ground there to get the ball away from Paul Baker. And John Brown will uh, put John Brown in a bit of trouble with the pass. And uh, that's a better attempt there. Through to Ali McCoy's two captains Rangers this afternoon in the absence of Richard Goff. A nice little ball out there to Oleg Kuznetsov. Well, Kuznetsov and Mikhailichenko come into the side, into the starting lineup against Hibs a couple of weeks ago. It was all a bit of a struggle, and uh, McCoy's come off the bench to score. And John Brown toppled to the ground there as Ian Ferguson sent in the shot. And it was a slightly awkward one for Sieb Dykstra. This is Baker. Ian Ferguson stepping in for Rangers. Ball from McPherson, it's a good one to house that. Into the middle there for Ali McCoyst, and uh, Chris McCart it was who slid in and knocked the ball behind for the corner kick. Good defending by the Motherwell skipper. It was a great ball from McPherson to house that into the near post for McCoyst, and there was McCart to slide and hit the ball behind for the corner kick. So Houstra's corner. Extra commits himself and handles it cleanly. Well, he was 26 uh, just a couple of weeks ago. This is his seventh consecutive start. So £40,000 he cost from uh, Rhoda JC in Holland. Maybe Cooper has uh, switched over to the right-hand side now. Well, and that's a fine effort there from Paul McGrillan. He got time to turn, Davy Cooper picked him out there with a good pass, he turned and uh, Dandy got him at full stretch. This is Ian Ferguson, he's got Houstra away to the right. Well, Houstra finding a fair bit of space there, but uh, McKinnon going to meet him now, still Houstra! Well, a fine save there by Steve Dykstra. But a uh, terrific build-up by Rangers and a good play by Peter Houstra. So rain falling here at Ibrook Stadium, not too heavy. Touch on there by Houstra, it's cut out by Nyholt. Houstra's in there again, he does well, he gets the ball to Dale Gordon. Kuznetsov is running in support. Oli Kuznetsov to Mikhailichenko. He turns well against Martin there, it's Ian Ferguson. McCall laying it off to Ali McCoyst. Oh, an excellent effort by Ali McCoy. He's so good in that type of situation. It is back to goal, but he has tremendous awareness. He turned there and curled the ball, and it had Dykstra diving right across. 
Just McCart there getting the touch on my level. Baker climbing just above uh, Brown there. Oh, Brown in trouble here, he's given it away. Oh, and the ball's off the base of the post there from Paul McGrillan. Well, John Brown is furious with himself and Paul McGrillan will be really disappointed. He made the challenge there on John Brown, who slipped at the vital moment. The first time shot had beaten Andy Gorham, come off the base of that right-hand post. And there was David McPherson to slide in and concede the corner kick. Well, Paul McGrillan unlucky there. He got the better of Brown, he hit the shot early. He hit it well and denied by the post. So a warning, a timely warning to Rangers as Davy Cooper takes the corner. It's Mikhailichenko back helping in defence. Still Mother will have it. That's McKinnon's cross. Baker's in there. So too is Martin. Well, an amazing stop there from Paul Baker. And it goes again. The shot going in from Ian Angus. Well, the Motherwell fans, a small contingent of Motherwell fans have plenty to roar about. It was McKinnon firing the ball in. Rangers didn't heed the warning. Baker won it there and there. Martin was in there. The goalkeeper was a bit late, but then he made a marvellous save from Baker. And eventually the shot came in from Ian Angus past his right-hand post. So a good spell of pressure there from Motherwell. Well, will Rangers respond to that? John Brown feels he's something to prove here. And well taken by Dykstra, but uh, John Brown made the earlier mistake. Well, Rangers have certainly uh, had the better of things in terms of territorial advantage. Uh, they've made chances, but Motherwell certainly had them in a bit of trouble as well. This is Ian Ferguson. Neil Gordon laying it off now to Haustra. McPherson's in there. Oh, and an acrobatic save from Steve Dijkstra. Well, McPherson hitting it first time there, and the goalkeeper responding well. Ball come off uh, Nyholt, and uh, the goalkeeper did extremely well. Kalachenko gets the touch for Rangers. He's in there again, but uh, free kick awarded against Ali McCoyst. Little nudge there on Alan Snedden. Nyholt with the free kick for Motherwell. Come off the top of John Brown's head, the chance on for Ian Angus. Oh, a terrific goal. Ian Angus strikes for Motherwell. 33 minutes gone, and Ian Angus gets his third goal of the season, and this only his 10th start. Well, he's always been terrific in that type of position. It was Nyholt who fired in the ball, it came off the top of John Brown's head. And then Ian Angus followed up to hit an unstoppable shot past Andy Gorham. A terrific goal there. Rangers nil, Motherwell one. Good ball through for Haustra. McKinnon giving chase. Haustra comes down there. It's a penalty kick. Well, it was a superb long ball through to Haustra. Well of the Stonewall variety. Or well, can Ellie McCoy score goal number 26 of the season? It's McCoy against Dykstra. And he scores! Rangers 1, Mullival 1. 38 minutes gone. Superbly struck by Ali McCoy. Sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. So the chance of Super Ali ring around Ibrox. McCart still well forward, but running into trouble there. And a chance for Rangers to do something. It's McCall to McCoyst. Another players racing back here. Still McCoyst. It's blocked there by Nyholt. John Brown comes forward. Mikhailichenko topples. Referee waves play on. Martin's digging in there. Breaks to Dale Gordon. Well, the crowd really getting fired up now. Dale Gordon for Rangers. Well, good play by Gordon. This is McCall. 
McKinnon at full stretch, Houston is in there and the ball goes behind for the goal kick. Well, there was some delightful play by Dale Gordon initially. Lovely play there by Gordon. And then McCall sent it across in the direction of Houstra. I think it uh, took a little deflection off the head of McKinnon, but uh, Houstra's effort, dipping over the crossbar. So David Cooper poised over the ball. Baker calling for it. Headed away by McPherson. McCall laying it off to Ferguson. Long one now for Hauser to chase. Almost a carbon copy of the penalty situation. Hauser doing well against the defender. It's Chris McCart who moved in there still. Hauser, Ali McCoy! McCoy's to finish it off. Rangers 2, Hullable 1, 41 minutes, two goals in three minutes from Ali McCoy. And goal number 27 of the season. Well, it was excellent play by Peter Houstra. He got a second attempt at it here. Ali McCoy was in there, come off the base of the post, that couldn't get to it. McCoy swept it into the back of the net. And look at the delight on his face. Rangers 2, Motherwell 1. This is Dale Gordon for Rangers to Mikhailichenko. Robertson's darting forward. A short pass though to Gordon. Nye Holtz with him all the way. And a bit of uh, jersey pulling there by Dale Gordon. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, an interesting first half. It was Ian Angus who put Motherwell ahead, but Ali McCoy responding in style after 38 minutes from the penalty spot after McKinnon had fouled Houstra. And then after 41 minutes, Ali McCoy stabbing the ball over the line after it came off the base of the post. A half-time score here at Ibrook Stadium. Rangers 2, Motherwell 1. To start the second half, no changes on either side. Well, there's a... Hefty challenge by McKinnon on Houstra, and then uh, Kuznetsov responded. Well, just seconds into this uh, second half, and uh, two hefty challenges going in. Houstra on the ground, and uh, Paul McGrillen brought crashing down by Oleg Kuznetsov. Everyone seems to be well, and the match restarting with the free kick to Motherwell. It's McKinnon who takes it. And it's off the post again from McGrillen. That's his second time in this match. He's hit the post with shots. Well, I'm sure Walter Smith will be raging with his defence there. Switch of play to David Robertson. Mikhailichenko plays it forward. And the ball's out of play, though. It's a throw-in to Motherwell. Well, a lot of good running there by... David Robertson, but it uh, came to nothing. Here come Rangers again through Ali McCoy. McCart's in there. And he concedes the corner kick. Well, the Motherwell players are unhappy there. You can see that uh, the defender claiming he was nudged there by Ali McCoy. But Rangers have the corner kick. A chance to do some early damage in this second half. Hauschler's corner. Oh, marvellous goal by John Brown. 50 minutes gone, it's Rangers 3, Motherwell 1. Perfectly struck there by John Brown, who gets his second goal of the season. Well, it was cleared there, I think, by Snedden, headed down by Dale Gordon. And what a superb strike right into the corner of the net. And John Brown, well, he made a couple of mistakes in the first half and he's more than atoned for that now. Well, Rangers uh, wisely not uh, parading the Skull League Cup here this afternoon before the game because uh, very often when that type of thing happens, the party falls flat and uh, they do have their minds on uh, other matters. 
like uh, two points this afternoon, which would appear at the moment anyway to be in the bag. And of course, the big match at Elland Road, which will be bringing you live and exclusive on Wednesday night. Here come Rangers again. It's McCall, Ferguson, Mikhailachenko, a nice back heel flick. Here's Mikhailachenko, Ali McCoy's brilliant play by Rangers. Ali McCoy gets his hat trick. That was fantastic play by Alexei Mikhailichenko. Dale Gordon was also involved in it. It really was marvellous play. 62 minutes gone. Rangers 4, Motherwell 1. It was McCall who played it in. Mikhailichenko here with a lovely back heel flick to Dale Gordon. He played it back to Mikhailichenko. And there was McCoy to send the ball past Dykstra. Breaks through now to Haustrat, who just got in behind McKinnon. It was Ian Ingus getting his head to the ball, and then a little touch by Griffin. This is Mikhailichenko. McCall playing it through. John Brown trying to lay it off there. Still Rangers have it. It's Mikhailichenko again, weaving some magic inside the penalty area. Great play by the Ukrainian, McCoyce, oh my goodness, he's missed it, that is unbelievable. Dazzling play from Alexei Mikhailichenko, well, Ali McCoyce has a right grin in his face, but this was marvellous play, poor Ian Angus on the end of it, in came Ali McCoyce, the ball came off the post, and then went behind for the goal kick, but uh, the cry of Mikhailichenko rings around Ibrox Stadium. Robertson, Mikhailichenko, Gordon, he shields the ball well, gets it to McPherson again, Kuznetsov some plenty of space here. This is McCall to Gordon, McCall again, Ian Ferguson, the ball takes a deflection and goes behind for the corner. Well, he struck it well, it took a deflection there and just dipped over the crossbar. Well, the goalkeeper was well off his line. Oh, the corner kick. Taken by Haustra, McPherson's in there. Long ball from Roberts, the offside flag is up there. Well, there were several Rangers players who had strayed forward. Uh, McPherson was to the right, Mikhailichenko was away in the far side. A touch for Sandy Robertson, headed on by Ferguson, picked up now by Dill Gordon. Uh, nice little Shuffle there by Gordon, such a skillful player. Now it's Haustra. McCall leaves it to Robertson. And uh, Sandy Robertson there taking a well, hefty challenge. He's back in his feet now. The referee says, play on. This is Kuznetsov. Well, he's a bit slack there. And he concedes the free kick. No, he doesn't. <laughs> the referee waves play on. So he was pointing to the free kick. Here come Rangers again. It's Dale Gordon. Oh. Again, terrific play by Rangers. Dale Gordon with a terrific glancing header. It was Robertson who sent the ball in. And Dale Gordon there. Coming so close to the ball, coming off the base of the post. Through to Martin. Switch of play to Snedden. Martin's in there. And goal number two for Motherwell, Brian Martin with a fine header. But again, the Rangers defence will have to have a look at themselves. But a good build up. It was Davy Cooper who fed the ball through to Alan Snedden. And Snedden sent it in there onto the head of Martin. So 81 minutes gone. Rangers four, Motherwell two. This is Ian Ferguson. 
the ball onto his left foot, but uh, he could get no power into it. And there goes the final whistle. And applause rings around the stadium. A comfortable victory for Rangers. Alexei Mikhailichenko giving a virtuoso performance. Dale Gordon there as well. Played a terrific match. But again, the man of the moment was uh, Ali McCoy with a hat-trick. And a terrific goal by McCoy to finish it all off for Rangers after 62 minutes. Mikhailichenko and Gordon provided the passes and there was McCoy to finish off with some style. The final score here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 4, Motherwell 2. Peter, after the disappointment of missing the, the Skull League Cup final, a good performance here today? Yeah, it's uh, always... Uh, yeah, you're never happy to miss a Skull Cup final, of course, but I'm glad I was uh, back today and uh, no problem with the hamstring whatsoever, so I'm happy. The first half here today was a bit disappointing. What really sparked it for you? Um, I think uh, when we lost the goal, I think uh, we stepped up a gear and uh, with the penalty and shortly after that, the second goal, uh, we were in control after that, I think. And the third goal uh, from uh, Ali McCoy was uh, a special one, wasn't it? A terrific build-up with Mikhailichenko, Dale Gordon. Yeah, a very good goal. It's uh, yeah, one out of the book. It's yeah, very good to watch. Jerry, there's just no stopping Rangers right now. Well, in a Scottish context, and of course it's the big one now at Elland Road, but it was a, a good performance yesterday. And that man, Ali McCoy, again, his fifth hat-trick of the season. And he, he proved, apart from the, being a good penalty box defender, he'll come deep to collect the ball, he shields it well, his distribution was good, and he showed tremendous awareness all round. Yeah, I think people are saying he's just a penalty box player, um, a talking rubbish, because he does get involved in the build-up as well, but obviously that's when he's at, at his best, and particularly in situations like that, where he's back to goal, there's nobody more dangerous in and around the box. Just swivels on these ones and great imagination and awareness and quickness. <laughs> He's up again here. Great goal predator, isn't he? I mean, yeah. he's uh, this, just a man I mean, this, this, this was the pick of the bunch. I mean, Michaela Chenko there, it's just brilliant. And away McCoy slots it away again. But uh, Rangers are looking to him and, and Wednesday yeah, night it leads. Terrific finish, that great goal. Gordon, some superb distribution again on show from McCall, Stuart McCall. Yeah, well, I think he's. Um, I mean, he's been a popular signing um, since since day one at Rangers and a very successful one. But I think probably just now he's probably playing the best football he's played since coming to Ibrox. I mean, him and Ian Ferguson have formed a really impressive midfield partnership. Ian Ferguson, once again, I thought was exceptional yesterday as well. And he, he, he used the ball well, didn't he? he I mean, the, people say maybe he just digs in there and wins it, but his distribution... Well, you look at this as well. Yeah. I mean, they've got a European Cup tie coming up on Wednesday, and that was the last minute of the game, and he's still making mm. forward runs. Great energy. No doubt about uh, the man of the match. Apart from McCoy's hat-trick, Mikhail Lachenko was absolutely brilliant yesterday, and he really had the crowd going. He, he's a special entertainer. Yeah, I think um, probably McCall and Ferguson laid the foundations, but sort of Mikhail Lachenko certainly added the... What about that for a miss from McCoy? No wonder they took him off after missing that. But Mikhail Lachenko was um, extra special in the second half. Great entertainment value. I mean, the fans just loved watching him in the second half yesterday. Weaving and good pass players and great touch control. Yeah, glorious left foot on him, hasn't he? And look, he's way back here, just stepping away from people. And uh, a great pass here again with, the, with that left foot. Great stuff all round. Players like him are few and far between, I think, Jerry, aren't they? Yeah, without any doubt. I wonder if he's got a chance of coming in on, on Wednesday. It's between him and Houstra, isn't it? What about poor old Motherwell? Just eight points from 15 games. I mean, they, they're toiling. They are, but uh, I think one thing Tommy McLean can take from yesterday is the spirit shown by his players. They, they, they kept on going. Paul McGrillan, for instance, uh, I think embodied that, that, that type of attitude. He was very unlucky on a couple of occasions, uh, sending the ball off the post. I, I think, uh, you know, if they keep battling away, they can get out of it. Yeah, they were, th th this was a spell in the game where it really, I mean, before Ian Angus's goal, they, they should really have scored a goal or two in, in the first half hour because Rangers were certainly slack in the first half hour of the game and they, and they, got, they got away quite... Well, Andy Gorham saved them in the post as well. And there might have been a couple of goals behind us once again, McGillan in the second half and just wasn't his day, ended up getting... Um, Carted off with an injury. I think another player who, who showed great spirit yesterday was Chris McCart. He, he had a hard time against Ali McCoy, and uh, okay, McCoy's got his hat trick, but uh, McCart uh, did a lot of good work. Yeah, he played particularly well, and there's another injury problem for Tommy McLean. He's, I mean, he's had one after another. I mean, Chris McCart um, broke his nose yesterday, unfortunate injury, but he got in a lot of good blocks and showed good positional sense in the box. and. Uh, 
and it's difficult yeah. to when the team's not performing well. But uh, again, in fairness to Tommy McLean, we've said it before, they have had an unfair share of injuries and illness. They were without the likes of Steve Cook yesterday uh, and Dougie Arnott, you know, who are two important players. Well, and a Yeah, well, a midgy bite, <laughs> of all things. But uh, I, I think uh, if, if Tommy McLean is, is given enough time, he, he will bring them through. It's very difficult. He's on a limited budget. As I say, those two main strikers out yesterday, it's, it's very difficult. OK, Jerry Gordon, thanks.